Welcome back, first grade. If you're either in Miss Finney's class or Miss Kelly's class, then you're in the right spot because it's time for reading. Let's get right into our materials. The materials that you all will need for today is a piece of paper, a pencil, and of course, your brain. If you need to pause the video to go grab any of those things, go ahead and do that now. Great job, first grade. Now that you have your materials, let's get right into our learning for today. Today, you guys are going to describe the main lesson in the story by using text evidence. We know good readers always go back in that text to find text evidence. We also know that good readers know that a lesson is a mistake that you've learned from. We all have learned about mistakes in our class. We learned about like if you spilled milk or if someone cheated on a test. The important part is that you can learn from a mistake. So in our story, we're gonna think about the lesson that the wind and the sun learned from. All right, friends, let's take a look at our learning for today. To get us started for today, first grade, I'm just gonna go over a couple things of what happened throughout our story, and then I'll bring you to another page where we can really dive in to find the lesson that our characters may have learned in our story. So if you look at our text up here, we know that the main characters in our story was the wind, and our other main character was the sun. I want to stop and think to myself, and if you guys know it, you can shout it out. What was going on with the wind and the sun? What were they doing? Did they like each other? What were they saying to each other? <gasps> oh, I heard that. I heard some of you guys saying that the wind and the sun were arguing. Well, what were they arguing about? Oh yeah, they were arguing about seeing who was strongest. So friends, I know throughout this part of the story, they were going back and forth. Like on this page, the wind was like, mm -mm, son, I'm the strongest. And they were talking about how they can blow clouds across the sky and toss cars and houses really high. They can blow windmills round and round and trees off the ground. So we know that the wind during this part of our book thought that they were the strongest. Let's continue to look through our book to see what else we know about our characters. Ooh, during this part of our story, this was talking about the sun and how the sun thought the sun was the strongest. The sun said that it's the strongest because it can melt ice, it can melt tar, which tar is what you have on grounds, that's what we drive on. It can heat dry rivers and dry land. See right here, that's why the land is all cracked. It says it can melt the ice cream in the children's hands. Oh man, so the wind is over here looking at the sun saying, wow, you are pretty strong, I don't know. So right now they've kind of gone back and forth talking about who is the strongest and let's continue to take a look to see what else happened. Oh, I remember this part. This is when they kept arguing back and forth and then wind had an idea. The wind had an idea, you guys probably remember to have a contest with each other to see who was the strongest. So this is when they decided to have that contest to see who could get the traveler's cloak. You got it. Some of you guys already knew the name for it. The traveler's cloak off his body, which is that's another word for jacket in case you forgot. So now that we've all kind of remembered our story, we know what it's about, let's get into the lesson. We know a little bit about our characters. We know that the wind thought the wind was the strongest. We know the sun thought the sun was the strongest. And we just need to figure out what these characters are learning from. So we know at the beginning of the story, they were arguing with each other, saying that they were stronger than the other person, and they weren't really getting along with each other. Now, I'm gonna read the last page, and this is when we're really gonna focus on the lesson that they've learned. Remember, a lesson is maybe like a mistake that you learn from. What mistake do you think the sun and the wind learned from? Let's listen and read that last page, and I want you to listen extra close for what the wind and the sun learn. Let's take a look. Okay, we're at that last page. Again, listen closely to see if you can figure out what the sun and the wind learned throughout the whole story. You guys got a little bit about what kind of characters they were, how they thought they were the strongest. So right now I want you to think about what they may have learned at the end of the story. All right, I'm gonna read the story and I want you guys to think, what did they learn? Remember, when, said son, strength can be used in different ways on different days. I understand now, son said. Wind, the better course is to use persuasion 
not force. Okay, friends, this is where I'm gonna pause because I want you to really think about what they learned throughout the story. This page gives you amazing text evidence to figure out what the sun and the wind learn. This is a screen you might have to rewind and go back to when you guys are writing about what the sun and the wind learn. Okay, friends, let's move on to your writing. Again, keep that in your mind. What did the sun and the wind learn in our story? All right, let's take a look. Okay, first grade, you kept it in your brain. You know what the sun and the wind learn. If you need to go back and rewind the story so that you can hear what they learn, you can rewind the video. That's the great part about having these videos. You can always rewind. So today you guys are gonna be writing about what the wind and the sun learned in the story. I have a sentence that you guys can use to help you out. It says, in the story, the wind and the sun learned, hmm, what did they learn? Did they learn that they should always eat ice cream when it's cold outside? Is that what they learned? No, the story didn't even talk about that. So you guys are gonna think, go back into that text and think about what the sun and the wind learned in the story. Okay, friends, you did such an amazing job. I'll leave this up so that you guys can use it to help you. Again, if you need to hear that last part of the story, you can rewind the video. When you're all finished with your work for the whole day, go ahead and take a picture of it and send it to your teacher. So either myself, Miss Finney, or you can send it to Miss Kelly on Seesaw, Remind, or through email. Don't forget to log your attendance. Okay, friends, have a great day. Bye.